Shalom Aleichem. Welcome to this little extra Shabbos piece for this Shabbos. This Shabbos is called Shabbos HaGodol. It is so called reminiscent of the Shabbos in Egypt. The Jews left Egypt on a Thursday. The Shabbos before, they took the Paschal lamb and they set it aside for the sacrifice. And the sheep was part of the idolatry, or maybe the main idolatry, of the Egyptians. Imagine the Jews going out, taking sheep, getting it ready for slaughter, and uh, to make a sacrifice out of it. You're taking the Egyptian god, right? So uh, it was a miracle that the Egyptians didn't do anything to stop us. So Shabbos HaGodol is so-called because of the great miracle that happened then. It was 10th day of Nisan, and uh, it was meant to teach us that there are great things happening in the month of Nisan. This Shabbos HaGodol is a very important Shabbos in our lives. It's a Shabbos, we're on the threshold. There's problems with Hamas in the south, problems with Hezbollah in the north, problems with Iran. Frankly, there's problems with the United States, with the United Kingdom, with France, with South Africa, Australia, Ireland, Spain, South American countries, and whatnot. It's amazing, right? But Shabbos HaGodol is there to teach us that there is a Godel, a great one, that's Hashem, who is there watching over us. And it's not just that Hashem is watching over us. He gave us a commandment of Shabbos. And the commandment of Shabbos is that we guard it. And the Sfarim bring that just like we guard Shabbos, Shabbos guards us too. We need the guardianship of Shabbos to get through life. Very important. So Shabbos HaGodol is a preparation for Pesach. Shabbos HaGodol, we have to get ourselves ready. We have to get our sacrifices ready. Right in the temple, it was the Paschal Lamb. Today, there's no temple. We hope there will be. But right now, there's no temple. So we don't have the Paschal Lamb, but we all have sacrifices. We all have made sacrifices. Whether it's financial, Pesach costs a lot of money. And uh, a lot of people give stoka to poor families for Pesach. We at Breast of Research have a campaign going on now to help the poor people of the breast of community in Israel. Whether the sacrifice is the work we do to clean the house for Pesach, whether if you're like me, you make the sacrifice to stay out of the house so that you don't get involved with the Pesach cleaning. Not that the, the wives appreciate that, but sometimes if you're not in the way, it's also a sacrifice. So uh, that's my excuse anyway. But uh, there are sacrifices for Pesach. You have to go through a week eating matzah, no bread. There's a lot of different things that happen. Shabbos HaGodol, it's a great Shabbos. It's a time for contemplation. I am going from bondage to freedom. What's bondage? Anything that I'm sold on, I have to go to work, I have to do this, I must do this, whatever, that's bondage, right? Freedom is I can, I want to, I will choose to do what I want, that's freedom. Why don't we look forward 
use this Shabbos to contemplate the coming holiday of Pesach, contemplate with freedom. Do I have to really be mired in my material life? Oh, I do need material things. Everyone does. We need food, shelter, clothing, basics. And there's more that we want and need. But do I have to be mired in it? Or can I say, I am in charge of my life. I want to enjoy life. And that's what Shabbos HaGadol is all about. Living the enjoyment, the freedom, when we uh, divulge ourselves from all our material needs. That's what Shabbos is. And we do that. Then Be'ez HaShem, we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful, free life, life of freedom, with Pesach. Amen. Good evening, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the shear. And if you uh, uh, like to shear, please uh, pass it on to others and let them all get interested in the rest of Rabbi Nachman's teachings. We look forward to hearing from a lot more of you. All the best. Bye.